Welcome everyone to the Mets Baseball Recap for July 19th, 2021. The Mets taking on the Cincinnati Reds. And boy, oh boy, it was a crazy one. This game gave me a headache. That's how crazy this game was. Um, and I apologize. I, I'm not going to go over the entire game, nor will I be able to do any graphics on this video because I have a headache. I really don't want to stare too much, but um, you'll hear my voice. But we're going to start things off because the Mets started with a 3 nothing lead. Alonzo hit a two-run home run, followed by McNeil solo shot, back-to-back -back home runs. And we're like, all right, the Mets are off and running. Um, but then Eikhoff, oh, Eikhoff, he was, getting, he was getting knocked around early in the first inning. And then Guillaume playing shortstop because Lindor's hurt. Oh, Guillaume. Butchered two double plays, threw the ball away. Um, McNeil also had an error in that first inning, and the Mets were down. <laughs> the Mets were down bad, but the Mets fought and clawed their way back. Uh, and then finally, um, later in this game, towards the eighth inning, I believe it was, or the seventh inning, McCann came in to pinch it, gave the Mets the lead nine to eight, and then it happened. And then it happened. Three blown saves in a row for Edwin Diaz. Now, before we even get to Edwin Diaz, we got to talk about Lugo. Lugo gave up a run as well um, during his uh, innings of work. And it's the same story. You can't walk people. When you walk someone, you're giving them a free pass. And that's what Lugo did. That's what Diaz did, and both those runs came in, um, and it hurt. It definitely hurt, especially because, one, you know, with Diaz, it was the first batter in the inning. He ended up walking in. He was just wild, and, you know, a lot of people online want to see him gone. I, uh, you know, as much as I am not happy with Diaz right now, I'm not ready to just turn my back. But I do feel that he has not had his control that he had in the beginning of the season. And, you know, whether it's the crackdown on the, the sticky substance or whatever it is, he's just not the same pitcher. He is completely wild. And then on top of that, does not know how to make good pitch selections. So even when he's trying to not be so wild, he makes poor decisions. But he ended up giving up the tying run. Mets go into extra innings. Mets take the lead. And the Mets lose the lead. And then the Mets take the lead again. Uh, no, and then Pilar put some cushion into the run with a three-run jack. Um, yeah, good job on the Mets to win this. They win this 15-11, to 11, I believe, is the final score. Um, and it came close because Trevor May came in for the final out. And... Um, I'm like, don't walk this batter. You know, he cannot beat you. He, he can't even tie the game. He can only, you know, give them, you know, make it into a one-run game if he hits a home run. But if you walk him, you're bringing up the tying batter. Don't do that. And good job I made to not give in and get the out and, and secure this win for the Mets. The Mets badly need to win. The Mets have been in situations that, you know, they must win. Now, <laughs> This was, uh, um, Luis Rojas was suspended for making contact with the uh, home plate umpire or the, um, the crew chief. So he is serving a two game suspension. This was the first two games. I joked around earlier saying that, you know, the Mets might be able to win three games in a row because Luis Rojas isn't there. I did not expect this type of game. This was not the game I expected at all. Um, the Mets just played poor defense in that first inning. Um, but you know, they put it together. The Mets, after uh, with all the 11 runs they gave up, only four of them were earned amazingly. So, amazingly, right? Only four earned runs, it's nuts. But you know, the Mets take on the Reds again. I feel like the Mets right now have no pitching at all. We don't even have a starter for tomorrow, and these bullpen games are hurting the Mets bullpen. We have lost too many pitches in that bullpen and relying too much on, on, on pitches going more than one inning when they're not 
you know, they're not accustomed to doing that. So, but no, Loop will be back tomorrow. So, you no, know, we'll have some, some help in there. And, uh, you know, as much as, uh, you no, know, we're going to say, oh, we need bullpen help. We did have Lugo out there and we did have Diaz and they both gave up runs. So, you know, these are the guys you wanted there. So, yes, I understand. <laughs> Some people don't want to see uh, Diaz at all, but, you know, we got to get him right. Uh, if he if he can't close games no, now and Mets are still in first towards the end, you won't be able to trust him. And you got to know that now and you got to know that now than later. So, <laughs> Let's go, Mets. Let's go, Mets.